Who are these skeleton dudes? Who's this blue dude here? What's going on? Who are any of these people? Why does this exist? I can't stop thinking about it. I can't stop checking thing things out about it. I can't stop hunting this shit down. I am obsessed with AI thumbnails for World of Warcraft content. Fucking obsessed. I cannot stop finding new ones and looking at them. And this led me down a rabbit hole that led me to a website, uh, which I'd never heard of, right? Called epiccarry.com. Have you, do you guys know Epic Carry? Does anyone use Epic Carry? Now, I don't feel like, I don't want to call out any YouTubers or anything like that, right? But I don't, I don't feel bad calling out Epic Carry. What they're doing is against terms, terms of service, right? Just saying. But look at all the imagery that they use. Like, literally, this is, this is for, wow, the War Within Beta Class Guide tier list. Every single image in this article and on their website these days is AI. But also kind of like, because it's AI, really janky and shit. And it's like, I just want to know. I'm so interested to learn what prompts they're putting into uh, Midjourney to come up with this stuff. And it, and it is Midjourney they're using. I know that for a fact. Yeah, well, that's the thing. It looks like, A, it's eye-catching. I'll give it that. So things this does well, and, and, and I... I, um, I this applies to YouTubers who, who do it on their thumbnails as well. What this does is it captures your eye as a WoW player because you think it's new content. You are seeing an image which is claiming to be WoW, which isn't something you've seen associated with WoW before. So there's an, an automatic part of your brain that goes, what's that new thing in WoW? And you you pay attention to it in that respect. It's like, oh, that's new. What's that new wow thing, right? So it automatically piques your interest because you have not seen it before. But I, and I, and I think that's, that's the, the, the bit of it that um, is beneficial to them to use this. The other thing that's beneficial to them, obviously, is it's very cheap and quick to do. So they can fill their articles with imagery Look, and they can do it instantly. Likewise with thumbnails and stuff, you know? Uh, this hobgoblin has got green arms and hands, but a pink face. And it, it's AI, right? So you can, you can always, we can always tell. And the fact is that like, you know, the armor sets aren't proper wow armor sets. And like, they're vaguely suggestive of being wow things. Like they're kind of recognizable as being wow things, but it's kind of like when you go on holiday to Spain, right? And you go to like a, a, a like a, a news agent in Spain or whatever, and they're selling like Iron Mon toys from the Mirville universe, right? Or Transformers. <laughs> Octopus Prime. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's kind of like that, right? It's like, oh, would you like to buy one of the mightiest morphinging power people toys? <laughs> what about the teenage mutated... Shinobi Terrapins. Uh, it feels like that. It feels like a cheap knockoff, right? But you know, it's shiny. It's got that AI sheen to it that if I've learned one thing about being on Facebook, people love. People love the, the AI sheen. Idiots love it, obviously, who don't know any better. <coughs> and you know what, right? I'm making a video right now where we're talking about the Ethereals and Koresh, and I'm going to have to go, and I'm, I'm not looking forward to editing the video because I know that I'm going to have to go back. I'm going to have to, like, go into the game. I'm going to have to pull up models of the Ethereals. I'm going to have to put them on a background, animate it, key screen it, 
you know, create like a little tableau of ethereals going, oh, my planet, shit like that. It's going to take fucking ages. And I need loads of that stuff, loads of that kind of footage for my video. And there's a part of me that is like, why can't I just put it through mid-journey? Why can't I just go on to mid-journey and go, you know, create me the ethereals from World of Warcraft, you know, and their, their home planet Koresh being eaten by Dementius or whatever. And... I would get an image that would be usable or I could use elements of it, right? Um, and I wouldn't do it. I just, I couldn't. I just couldn't do it because you guys would know and I don't think I could live with the shame. And that's all it is, right? That's, that's, it's just the shame. If I thought I could get away with it, I absolutely would. <laughs> There's no, no morals. Not here. Not in this stream, mate. No fucking morals. It's just fear of getting caught and called out. That's the only reason I ever do anything good. I don't actually care about anyone. The, I only care about getting called out and made to seem silly and bad. <laughs> um, as an animation artist, I, I'm joking, obviously. No, it's, it's purely for moral reasons. As an animation artist, AI, well, not, it's not purely for moral reasons. I also want to be seen as someone who refuses to use AI art. I do refuse to be, use AI art, but I want to be seen as someone who, uses, who refuses to use AR, AI art as well. It's not enough just not using AI, AI art. People have to know that I don't use AI art, right? AI visual assets, it's not art. Um, as an animation artist, AI art has <laughs> obliterated our industry. 80% of my old classmates and co-workers are unemployed and have been for many months. CEOs have used this as an opportunity to slash jobs, pretend art is a replacement. Yeah, and it's soulless shit. And the thing is, I, this can't be good for them in the long run. It saves them time, it saves them effort, it saves them money. It is initially, in the first seconds you see it, very eye-catching and gets your attention, but it's surely really, really bad in the long run because I don't know what this article says, but I bet you any money you like that it's written by AI. Whatever this this article says, I bet you it's written by AI. It's just non-specific enough that I would believe it is as well. <laughs> Ogrimmar is spelled wrong in the first article. Oh my god. Well, I've done that in fairness. But I like to think that... Um, <laughs> offers versatile, arcane, and physical talent builds, but lacks the power of top-tier tanks. This is AI. This was, written, this was definitely written by AI. It said Sand Lane instead of Sand Lane. Oh my god. It does. <laughs> so yeah, but I am like fascinated by this because this is not, this is obviously, this is not WoW, right? <coughs> because you put it in an article about WoW, you're like, oh, maybe. It just catches your eye. But then you look at it and you're like, oh, apart from the fact it's obviously AI. And to be honest, even if there were, like, even if these faces didn't look like melted butter, even if the hands, etc., weren't wrong, even if the proportions weren't all off, you know, you'd still be able to tell it was AI just by looking at it. Um, yeah, look at this one. Top tanks from Mythic Plus. And then you got... What even is that? That thing isn't even in WoW! Like, these pictures existing is one thing, right? But the fact that they're being associated with... Uh, with WoW on like a website is insane. Like it, it, it just really, I am obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with this to the versatile protection paladin with flashy heroic talents. Protection warrior, very tanky with heroic talents like Colossus and mountain King. Well, with the hero talent trees, Colossus. They're not like Colossus and Mountain Kit. They are. They consist of Colossus and Mountain Thane. That's that is it. I guess I guess Mountain Thane is like Mountain King. They're correct, right? <laughs> They're not wrong. I guess Mountain King is like Mountain Thane, right? <laughs> In War Within Beta Classic. Tanks are more exciting than ever. Guardian druids are the best with versatile builds. Uh, well, uh, this is this is. Look at this one. 
I am obsessed with these images. Like, you know, you can look closer at them and see like what bullshit AI they are. But even just the whole concept of them, I find fascinating. Who the fuck are these purple orc things? PVPP zone, player versus dick. Okay, Retribution Paladin, S tier. I'm sure all of this is is like collected from, from just articles and stuff. Who are these skeleton dudes? Who's this blue dude here? What's going on? What's this little- Who are the- Who are any of these people? Why does this exist? Why is this here? Why has Ang got hair now? And why is he in World of Warcraft? Why has this guy got his spi spiky trident thing going up the skeleton's nose? And why does the skeleton have skin? I'm so confused. Who is this supposed to be? At least the others, you could make some kind of, like, case that, oh, these things, they kind of exist in WoW. This is like an AI version of an established WoW thing, so it's wrong and it's bad, but I get kind of what it's supposed to be. But this, I have no idea what this is supposed to be. What is this? What is this? Oh my god. They've actually put, like, a Warcraft logo in this one as well. Have you seen this? World of Warcraft, mummy. World Warcraft, <coughs> just vomiting up a word that isn't a word, just like it's vomited up all of this fucking imagery. Good to see they do have uh, like representation in this game, though. Glad to see that. Uh, Feyrin Lothar has started a trend. That's good, I guess, right? What's going on here? What is it even supposed- This is literally like they said a gnome in World of Warcraft and the AI went, Oh, I know gnomes. I've seen gnome. I know what a gnome is. And you just know that on their second pass on this, who am I joking? They don't have fucking second passes. But you know, they went, uh, maybe lose the, uh, maybe lose the fishing rod. And then you've got the, uh, the Alliance banners. Love it. And all these orcs with no arms in most cases fighting for the Alliance. Absolutely love it. Fucking nightmare fuel. The War Within. Look, they've actually put The War Within. They've actually written The War Within here. I have to look closer at this. Okay, so what have we got in the... What Can anyone make out this writing? What is this writing supposed to be? It's just writing. It's not on anything. It's literally just hovering in the air, this writing. Then you've got someone who's like vaguely Lich Kingy. Oh, yeah. He War Within. And then he became the war within. And then this guy, again, obviously who doesn't exist in WoW. And then some really weird, like, perspective shift stuff going on here. Got, like, a, a double-ended lightsaber down here. I am absolutely fascinated by this. Look at this shit. World of Warcraft. Warcraft. War Within, off-center, meta-class list. Oh my god! They AI'd like a BlizzCon screen? Can you see why I'm so obsessed with this shit? You know, we've all done it. We've all gone on to mid-journey, and we've all created things, and we've all gone, oh my god, this is terrible, but it, this was quite good fun. But we never, like, put it out. We wouldn't. A flying tank. Boys, flying tank. Dudes with tracks for feet. Uh, yeah. <sighs> if this site does give me more wear, I, I deserve it, honestly. What is... Look at this shit. It is insane. Top heels for my plus. What do they say about uh, Priest. Uh, Discipline Priest. Impressive heroic talents that increase both healing and damage output. Perfect for Mythic Plus. <coughs> 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 
fine, whatever. And then what? I, I can you see why I'm so obsessed with this? Like, and this is going to be the case. Like, literally any fucking page on this website that you go to, look. World Ooh Warcraft with its melty like banana writing and backgrounds and stuff. And then you got this. Who knows what this is? Not me. Release date 2624. Or should I say release date 26 August 22 24 2C2D. War within. Like Hero Tanits. People want this shit to run the world. People, people want this shit to run Google. People call this intelligence. I, I don't know, man. I just don't think it's really helping your product. I don't think if I were to hire this company to carry me through content, I don't think they'd be able to do it. I don't, I don't think they could. But, like, this is just from mid-journey, right? This is just mid-journey. This is all they're using. And that's what, like, loads of businesses and stuff are using now. You know? It's insane. Uh, just, like, random fucking flying things in a vaguely uh, Dragon Isles kind of thing. War within New Continent. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. War within new race. I mean, this is this is what War within Delves. Should we have a look at their pictures of Delves? Oh, I can't click on them. They're just there. This is I am obsessed with it. 